How sure are you that your menu can actually make you a profit? Let's break it down into the biggest ways you can actually lose money when costing a menu. I'm Rob from Messina Group, where I manage three venues that range from a cafe to a wine bar that focuses on fine food. Getting the menu costed for each venue is an ever-evolving job, and it's just as important as the dishes themselves. Okay, let's take the humble schnitzel for example. Even the simplest of ingredients can be overlooked. Whether you're shallow frying or deep frying, you need to account for your oil. When you're shallow frying, you use the same amount of oil. If you're deep frying, you get over 100 schnitzels for one tin of oil. Your egg wash is also something that should not be taken for granted. It all costs money and it should be accounted for when pricing. If you want to elevate your schnitzel to the next level, I like to add a little bit of za'atar, burnt lemon and confit garlic aioli. Obviously, this is going to bring the cost of your dish up. You need to know who your demographic is and are they going to pay for these little extras. Another thing that restaurants overlook, seasonal pricing. Something I've costed up today could be vastly different by next week. Let's take a lamb shoulder ragu with a filet pasta and spring greens. You've got to get the basics right. If you're making your own pasta, eggs, flour, olive oil, these are all things that need to be incorporated into your cost. Not only do we need to worry about those ingredients, the kicker here is the seasonal and market produce like the lamb shoulder in the ragu that can quickly take your dish from profitable to profitless. Last week, I bought this lamb shoulder for $18 a kilo. This week, $22. So you can see how the price has jumped in one week. You need to be recalculating these types of dishes regularly. The final costing mistake that restaurants often encounter is a lack of restraint, adding ingredients to a well-costed menu. Look, we've all been there, adding a few extra berries to make a dessert pop. It may look good on the plate, but it doesn't look good in the bank account. <laughs> One of my favorite desserts that's very tempting to over garnish is a summer berry eat a mess. This dessert can be quite refined or exuberant depending on your culinary style. On mine, I like to use some mandarin segments, some kaffia lime leaf powder, and some berries to finish. As berries are the most expensive part of this dish, the difference between a properly portioned garnish and an extra flourish of berries is the difference between your estimated profit and dishing up a loss. You can see how quickly a well-conceived menu can blow out of proportion with missed or forgotten elements, volatile or seasonal produce, or an extra flourish during the cooking process. Once you've broken down your menu and ingredients, check out the Goodman Fielder Food Service Recipe Calculator to stay on top of your costing and ensure your restaurant stays profitable.